So lately my kids have been super bougie, especially my daughter. I said this before, she is the snack queen. So she's always sending me videos. Oh my gosh, can you do this? Oh my gosh, this snack is out. Can we try it? And she was like, oh my gosh, did you hear? There's something called stuffed deep fried nachos. Do you think we can go to Costco, see if they have them? I was like, girl, I am the Costco. I do have them. I will make them for you right now. So for this stuffing of the nachos, I browned up some ground beef, seasoned it up with taco seasoning. That's about the only cheating we're gonna make. Let it cool off and added some white cheddar cheese. Then I was like, like maybe we should drizzle them with some nacho sauce. Realized I didn't have nacho sauce and I said, no problem, we'll make our own. I charred up a jalapeno and boiled some tomatoes and more chiles to make a salsa and a rotel. In a skillet, I sauteed a little bit of onion, garlic, tomatoes, and added my rotel. I ended up with a little bit of salt, pepper, chicken bouillon, and then I added a can of evaporated milk, some sharp cheddar cheese that I had coated with some cornstarch so I can get nice and thickums, then added a little bit of milk to thin it out. That was a cheese sauce. I also had some leftover steak that I cubed up for some carne asada. To glue the tortillas shut, I went ahead and made a glue using flour and water. It needs to look like a thick pancake batter. I quartered some flour tortillas and then on the edges, we're gonna add our glue, add our stuffing, and then close them up until they look like this. Just gonna fry them up until they get nice and crispy on the outside and the cheese is melting in the inside. So you let all of the excess oil drain, we are gonna nana joe these nachos. We're gonna drizzle them with our homemade nacho cheese, add some more cheese because we like everything super cheesy. Then we're gonna add our carne asada, some corn, and basically a deconstructed pico de gallo. We can't forget about their daily greens, some jalapenos, and then drizzle with some sour cream. Of course, a dollop of guacamole for dipping and salsa. Now this was my husband's stuffed, deep fried carne asada loaded nachos. This was the kids. And then they still had the nerve to be like, oh my gosh, did you guys finish all the nachos? No, we all participated in finishing all the nachos. There you have it guys. Hope you like this recipe. Bye.